Hey there, Aluxers. We're all about bringing you motivational content that helps to create the kind of mindset future billionaires need to achieve success in life. But how much thought have you put into what mindsets might be holding you back? The truth is, they're subtle and you might even think they're just a part of being realistic or cautious. But if you let them rule the roost, they could be the biggest enemy to your success. Instead of diving deep into the things you should embody today, we're looking at 15 thoughts that are the enemy of success. Let's start by getting the victim mindset stuff out of the way. The first four are ones that often hide in plain sight. All right, here we go. Number one, nothing ever goes my way. If you've bought into the mindset that the universe is conspiring against you, then you're wrong, pal. Firstly, get over yourself. In your current state, your energy isn't much threat to the universe that it would even bother messing with you. The truth is that by virtue of the impossibility of being born and surviving as long as you did, well, it shows the universe is on your side. So start moving, cause so far, most things are going your way. Number two, I'm just so unlucky. Ah, luck, another myth that is an enemy to your success. If luck was all it was about, then Jeff Bezos would have just sat at home and bought lottery tickets instead of working his backside off like he did. Think about it, if you do possess some rare unlucky curse, then doesn't that by nature make you extremely lucky? You basically know the outcome already, just bet against yourself, or do the opposite of what your unlucky self would have done. Just kidding, that's a ridiculous excuse. Get off your butt and get to work. You won't get lucky if you do nothing. On the contrary, the more action you take, the more opportunities you have to get lucky. Number three, I'm not smart, experienced, or charismatic enough. Enough for what? Who are you comparing yourself to and better yet, why? Are you wanting to be listed with the highest IQ or start a new business venture? Experienced how? You can't possibly try something new and be experienced in it at the same time, so give yourself a little grace here, okay? You'll never be more of any of these without taking more action. So shake off that self-doubt and just go for it already. Number four, no one likes me. Okay, so if you thought what I was going to say was, oh no, don't worry, they love you, it's definitely all in your head. Well, I hate to break it to you, but not everyone is going to like you in life, and that's okay. Running into the occasional hater, I mean, that's basically to be expected in life. However, if you find yourself always encountering that same problem of people not liking you, well, it's time to take stock and ask yourself why that might be. What is it about your personality that makes it hard for people to connect with you? Look, everyone has undesirable traits, but the wise ones are trying to fix them. Try being more mindful, my friend, it does go a long way. Number five, success shouldn't be this hard. I'm sorry, what part of success made you think it would be easy to create? If you're having trouble achieving your goals, perhaps it's time you assess your strategy and the actions you're taking and start coming up with ideas on how to approach things differently to get there. The road to success is tough, tricky, and downright devastating at times. Don't waste your precious energy thinking about how hard it shouldn't be and start putting in that effort working toward your goals. And Aluxers, there's one surefire starting point that all successful people have taken to get to where they are. Stick around to find out what it is. Number six, rather the devil you know than the devil you don't. This one just cracks us up. It's often used when someone doesn't want to take themselves from where they're unhappy right now, just in case they happen to be unhappy someplace new. That makes no sense. Why would you stay in a place of known unhappiness when the unknown at least offers you the option to have something different, something better? Change isn't good or bad. Change is change. We get to decide what that change looks like for us. Number seven, I knew that wouldn't work. Bravo, but there are no bonus points for predicting a failure. Things do fail, but generally speaking, nobody's thrilled about it. There's no payout for guessing the losing horse. Also, if you truly knew something wasn't going to work, then why the hell did you do it? If success is what you're looking to create, you would have used that foresight to come up with a better plan. Number eight, competition means game over. 
If a little competition scares you, you've definitely got to fight hard to overcome that one. If competition wasn't a part of success, there wouldn't be several multinational companies all making and selling the same products. We don't live in a world of only Coke or Pepsi, we have both, and they're both massively successful. Competition just reinforces the consumer need for your business, so go out there and set the bar high. Number 9. Preparing to Fail if you're calling fire in the hull before you've even set sail, then you're too fixated on what could go wrong to plan for what could go right. Just like you can't win a chess match by purely playing defensively, you can't win in life by always preparing to fail. At some stage, you need to proactively take steps toward being successful. Instead of constantly running through all the possible ways you could fail, pause, take a breath, and visualize what winning looks like to you. Let yourself embody that. Now that's a success mindset. Number 10. It's not my fault if this doesn't work out. Sure, sometimes it won't all work out, but that's only a failure if you don't learn from it. The first step to learning is taking responsibility. If you're always telling yourself it's not your fault, you're not taking responsibility, and if you never take responsibility, you will never learn. Dropping the ego and taking responsibility allows you to take stock and make plans to never repeat the same mistake twice. Number 11. Your success is based on others failing. I think this one might go all the way back to school where you're ranked in class by how well everyone does on their exams. Ugh, cringe. In real life, no one is comparing us based on the same specific set of questions or criteria. We don't necessarily win because our competition failed. It might just be the universe giving you a warning to up your game or else meet the same downfall. Or maybe half the competing staff got COVID and the whole company took a hit as a result. No matter the circumstances, don't expect success to pour in just because somebody else failed. Number 12. I can't succeed because I failed in the past. Failure is universal, but then again, so is success. Just because you hit every red light in traffic yesterday doesn't mean you won't be able to sail through green lights today. Putting together a winning product, a successful company, or getting a kick-ass new job is not exclusive to those who have a straight record of success. In fact, stories like Colonel Sanders' many failed KFC pitches before his success should prove that failure comes before success in many cases. Reframe those failures into all kinds of lessons learned and you're on the way to a success mindset. Number 13. I don't need anyone's help. Ah yes, the lone wolf mentalist. What an enemy of success. There's one thing that almost all successful brands have in common, and that's a huge team. Sure, they might start off small, but before you know it, they all hire the best of the best to help them scale for a global business. If you're like most Aluxers, you have your eye on the big time. Learning to play well with others is a necessity, not just nice to have. Number 14. It's comfortable in my comfort zone. Look, success is about growth, and growth doesn't happen inside of our comfort zones. You can be comfortable all you like, but don't expect to cultivate any greatness in there. The successful understand that there will be times of uncertainty and even the chance of failure, but staying in a comfort zone is something they will never understand. Number 15. Mistakes are a catastrophe and the end of the road. That's right, we're ending with your worst fear, making a mistake. The truth is that mistakes happen, but contrary to what your anxiety might be telling you, it doesn't mean imminent death. Things go wrong all the time in successful businesses, and it's not the end of the road, nor does it always spell catastrophe. Expecting things to go by without a hitch is unrealistic, but anticipating any issues ahead of time can at least help hush that anxious shadow of yours. Now, before we get to our bonus, we're curious. Which of these 15 thoughts have you been struggling with the most? Join the conversation in the comments, and we'll personally be replying to the first 50 who do. All right, so we teased this earlier. Your bonus, what is the one thing that all successful people have done that kicked off their success? Walking the talk. Look, not one successful person got to where they are today by just saying what they want to do. You actually have to follow through with your plans and actions in order to achieve your dream. Just telling people what you intend to do isn't the kind of flex you think it is. And you know, there's actually a bit of mind trickery to this. Psychologists call it social reality, where we get a sort of thrilling feeling that we've succeeded when we tell someone our goals and they acknowledge them. This little ego stroke can be enough for some people to the point where they're satisfied and don't actually feel necessary to follow through anymore. The acknowledgement of their intent was enough. 